Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Thursday. We got three matchups on this WNBA slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, we're going our way to 22K subs, guys, so keep up the good work. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Really good promos, especially with FanDuel. New customers bet five, get 150 in bonus bets if you win. So go ahead and take advantage of that, guys. And uh, yeah, we'll hop in it. We had a long break from WNBA from the uh, Olympics. They did win the gold, so that's good. But yeah, such a long break. No other sports have such a long break like this. This feels like a start of a brand new season here. So that's kind of how I'm going to treat it because a lot of rest time for people. So we'll see how today goes. Maybe I, I'm, I feel like the first week we're going to catch a lot of teams being rusty. That's that's my thoughts. But uh, first matchup, we've got the Phoenix Mercury versus the Chicago Sky. Phoenix opening up as a two and a half point road favorite with the over under at 165 and a half. Phoenix coming into this matchup 13 and 12. The Sky 10 and 14. Uh, Phoenix three and two in their last five. They're coming off a Washington win. The Sky, they're coming off a big Vegas win. Um. Let's see Chicago. You know, the numbers aren't that great for Chicago. They're one and four covering at home, five and ten covering the spread. Think of Phoenix. They're four and two covering the spread right now. But um road wise, Phoenix is very bad on the road. They're five and twenty on the road. That I mean that's absolutely horrible. Um it's looking like these two haven't played each other this season. And uh I don't know. I'm liking the plus money with the Sky Phoenix. They do not travel well. Um, I feel like the dogs could be out today. Give me the Sky plus two and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Washington Mystics versus the Minnesota Lynx. Lynx opening up as an eight and a half point home favorite with the over under at 156 and a half. Washington coming into this matchup six and 19. The Lynx 18 and eight. Uh, Lynx. Coming off an Atlanta win, they're three and two in their last five. Mystics one and four in their last five right now. Um, yeah, the Mystics, you know, three and twelve on the road. Obviously, they've been very bad here. And then the Lynx, they're nine and two at home. So you got a really good home team and a really bad road team. Um, I'm liking the Lynx here. I mean, man, they played so good the first half of the season. Link or or Washington, they've just been such a disappointment. Um, they actually just played or Minnesota the last game they played. They lost seventy four to sixty seven. So, you know, they did pretty close on that spread there. Um, I still think I got to roll with the Lynx. I just don't trust the Mystics on the road. Maybe if the points was like ten or eleven or so, I'd probably lean that way. But eight and a half, I'll take the Lynx at home in this one. In the last matchup, we got the New York Liberty versus the Los Angeles Sparks. Liberty opening up as an 11 and a half point road favorite with the over under at 165. Liberty coming into this matchup 21 and 5. The Sparks 6 and 18. Now they've played each other twice this season. Los Angeles losing by 10 and then losing by 13. So both double digit losses here. Uh, Liberty on a four game winning streak. I mean, they're playing great. The Sparks, uh, they're coming off coming off a Seattle loss. They're two and three in their last five. Liberty five and one covering the spread. They're seven and two on the road. Seven and two covering on the road here. Um, Sparks just two and eleven in their last thirteen. Four seven and one covering at home. They've had a lot of problems covering at home, and. Um, that's a tough spread. We've seen the Liberty cover it. I mean, it's been double digit games. I feel like that's what's going to be again here. And I think I got to take the Liberty here. I just, it's a lot of points, but the Sparks, we've seen them lose a lot of double digit games this season, especially to the Liberty. Maybe if you could find some cheaper point totals for the Liberty to do that. But uh, I think I got to just trust the Liberty here. They're playing great. I'll take the Liberty minus 11 and a half and money line on the road today. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Thursday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Friday. Have a good one.